Hello everyone. Today we are going to see what are modal and non-modal dialogues in WPF. So Microsoft provides the documentation to us about the dialog boxes and different kinds of dialog boxes that we use. But generally or mainly you can categorize them into modal and non-modal dialogues. Let's see how to create a dialog in this um, WPF. So this is the default window and on this default window you can create some buttons so i'll create a button here i'll increase the size of the button okay and i can simply copy paste it creating multiple buttons i can select and drag it select and drag it okay so these are the three buttons now clicking on this button i want to raise a new window or a dialogue so how can we do it you can right click right click on this say add add a new item or add window directly and uh, give some name to this window i'll keep it window one okay so this is our new window and on this window i will create another button okay now so this is a uh, this is a general process of creating a new a new dialogue or new window now what we want to do is on clicking this button we want to raise this new window so what we will have to do is simple create an instance of that uh, create an instance of that class and simply say w1.show okay now when you run this you will observe that whilst i have clicked and raised another window i can also click on these buttons right so as you can see it is creating multiple instances as well now let's say we don't want that to happen so this is called as non-model okay so basically when you raise this this window and this window has no relation or we can say uh, i can click these window buttons as well at the same time we don't want that to happen right we want a model behavior what is model behavior model behavior is the behavior where uh, once you raise some other window you cannot go back to your parent window right so that's what you want to do so what you can do is simply say w1 dot owner is equal to this and instead of show you can say show dialog now with this if you run now okay okay with this if you run now if you click and raise this window now you cannot cannot click on these buttons okay you cannot click on these buttons only when you close this you can click on these buttons right so that's the concept of model and non-model quite interesting and quite important concept so if you see in this documentation you will see that there are there is a message box and uh, there are some dialog boxes such as file opening dialog box so you can simply copy this code and paste it on <clears throat> this click similarly there is another code snippet save save dialog box you can click it uh, you can copy it and keep it on this button click right so now if you run this on clicking this it raises the dialog and this is a model so you cannot click on these buttons right unless you save this you cannot open or you cannot click on these buttons right so similarly this one whilst this is clicked you cannot click on these buttons right so that's a model and non-model uh, dialogues in wpf quite interesting you can make it using this show method that's all